I'm working just to make ends meet, really. I mean, it's just a, it's a paycheck to paycheck to pay the bills of my student loans that I have now and, and everything. So, I mean, it's, it's hard, but that's what you have to do in order to survive. I don't, I don't have any benefits. I, I, it's, um, it's full time, but I don't have benefits at either place. But that's, that's just how it is, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else. I mean, I could get insurance on my own, but I don't know if I could afford it in the end. The other side of the door, that would be it, right there. And my mom, seen over the years that what she has, has put her, her life into is trying to make awareness of domestic violence and everything that's in Door County that the tourists don't see. Marketing is sick. Come to Door County and see our natural beauty and our arts are fantastic. So we're not showing that other side of Door. The other side of Door is the people who are providing those services so you can come up. If that gal who's waiting on your table, you don't know that she might very well be homeless. The person taking your ticket may really be struggling to make ends meet, and it might have been a real hardship to, to get to work with a tank of gas that's just about empty, and are they gonna get home on fumes or whatever. So I think the other side of the door is to give a glimpse that there are challenges in Door County that we don't show to the people who come to visit us. So we want you to come back. There is a correlation between economics and uh, frustrations, domestic abuse in the house. When people have to make a choice, you know, the price of gas has just gone crazy. Um, the utility bills are going up, the food in the grocery store is going up. So it becomes very difficult when a choice has to be made. What are we gonna buy today? What bills are we gonna pay? Um, maybe a child can't go on a school trip because there's no money left for that and anger flare out and sometimes domestic abuse does happen. Uh, domestic abuse services, our average is probably about 150 cases open each year. That includes adults and children. We've got this unique peninsula with water on three sides and it really is quite long from south to north. We've got jobs available in Northern Door County that uh, pay well, but people in Sturgeon Bay that have no way to get there. So we really need a transportation from the workforce perspective. We need a transportation system from the elderly perspective. My mother, um, as a, a disabled person in Door County, has some independence. I had a stroke six and a half years ago. Um, it came on suddenly and I uh, was in the hospital for uh, five weeks getting therapy, uh, learning to walk again and learning to do things to get for myself so I could live by myself and uh, I needed a lot of help. Uh, things that I think about would be when I do not drive anymore. Um, there are services for transportation, but none in evening, on the evenings or weekends. And there are many people who would like to, would like to go to church on weekends or, or to uh, things that go on, uh, arts and plays. The tourists see, uh, they, they see all the nice things. They don't see, uh, all what uh, there is on, on the other side of the door. And they really need to see that too because it's, it's the same thing as their hometown. And they think that this is just a nice place to be. There are wonderful, compassionate, caring people in Door County. People that are working in the industries, you come to Door County for the beauty, to, to be just wowed by, by what's going on in Door County, but we also have to take care of the people in Door County. So I ask for help in taking care of people here so that they can be safe and healthy and be able to take care of you.